through hundreds of concerts, football games, and even parades. But no, we're not talking about the band itself. We're talking about the uniforms and all their ripped up, overused, smelly glory. But it's okay, because the band this year has been working really hard to raise money to get the new uniforms. And we only need about, oh, I don't know, $40,000? He said it. A fresh $40,000. But there is good news. So far, we've already raised $15,000. 15000 I mean, that's not bad. And there's ways that all of us can help. So, before we tell you how you can help them, we're going to be telling you what the money's going towards. The money will buy new bibbers, new hats, new plumes, and new jackets. The band has already been doing a lot to raise money by doing things like having car washes, selling candy, or standing out in front of stores collecting donations. This one's got a rip. I think that's a tear. And I don't know if that's an oil stain or a sweat stain. I can't tell. See guys, this is what we mean. The band really needs some new uniforms. They've received a couple generous donations, but it's still not enough. Luckily, there's plenty of ways that you can get involved and help out. The main way you can help out the band is by donating. Any amount is welcomed and appreciated. You can take your money to Miss Kelly in the main office. Or you can take your money to Miss Ike in the Fine Arts Building. The band also has a GoFundMe campaign. To get to it, you just type www.gofundme.com slash cpzdts. So did you know? The average uniform has a lifespan of 10 years. And these uniforms are 14 years old. If you ask me, I think it's time they go. You know, Haley, it is important to remember that the school band is always there to give us pride and school spirit. That's why they're called the Pride of Kathleen Marching Band. So let's show a little bit of pride ourselves and help them out. Any donations are accepted. Hey, isn't practice about to start? Oh, we should get yeah. back to it. How's it going, all you Red Devils? My name is Michael Boyette, and I... I have a FaceTime call. Hey, Haley. Hey, Michael, what's up? Actually, I was about to anchor today's show. Do you want to give me a hand? Yeah, sure, I'll be right there. All right, I'll see you in a few. Oh, I'm here. How'd you get here so quick? I was just around the corner. Oh, well, I'm glad you can make it. Me too, because on today's show, we're talking about something that appeals to all of us. Social, Social media. media. All the different ways to connect. Whether it be Snapchat, Vine, Instagram, Twitter. I think they get the point, Haley. Me too. So let's join the trend, pick up those phones, and, and let's, let's get, get social. social. Hey, what you doing there? Oh, I'm just tweeting. You know, I'm on a lot of social networking sites, but Twitter's not one of them. Well, you know, studies show that. Oh. Isn't Alberto one of the 63% of students that use Twitter? Yeah, let's see if he can help you join the trend. All right. Ooh. One of my hair. You know, a big part of social media is trends. You know things like planking and the Harlem Shake? Do the Harlem Shake. Really anything that takes over the internet. This summer, something conquered the internet. The ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. I couldn't scroll through my newsfeed without seeing them all over the place. Done. By the way, I just nominated you for the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Michael. Sorry. Let's go to Brianna. So tweet away, Kathleen. Or take a trendy challenge. And thanks for joining us at Ignition TV. I'm at Michael Boyette. And I'm at Haley Alford. And we'll hashtag see you later. But, but first, first, let me take a selfie. Bam, got it. Perfect. For Ignition TV, I'm Haley Alford. And I'm Michael Boyette. Let's get to class. Yeah, you're right, we need to hurry. You ready to film? Haley, right. You ready to do our next segment? Well, you see, I was thinking we needed to take a break from segments. Oh, actually good. I can finish this now. Well, we're still gonna be doing something. I thought we were taking a break. I think. We should do some tie-dye. You ready to die, Michael? It's do or die time, right? Do or die. Prepare your work area by, oh. and then it says put gloves on. 
Add a packet of soda ash into a bucket. Turkey. <laughs> okay. You gotta shake it. Gotta shake it. Oh no, it's soda. All right, this is going well. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you did yeah. Are we doing this right? I'd hope so. Add shirts to soda ash and soak for 20 minutes. So fill dye bottles with warm water. Oh wait, here's Slosh. your cup. Sloshing. <laughs> well, now we wait. Tie up your shirts and dye in one of the following patterns or make up your own. There's no right or wrong way to do it. See, you can choose a little spirally guy, or you could do this one, or you could do this one. Okay. Yeah, sure, cool. that, let's go with that. I got so much, I think I'm gonna go colorblind. <laughs> Breathe, don't die. Did I make you so angry you're seeing red? Celebrate good, good times, come, come on. on. You gotta have style when you do it. Yeah? So you gotta... Nope. Do a little nope. dance. Okay. So I'm going for a, uh, a messy look. Fascinating in the back, so where there's blue, there's gonna be red, and where there's red, I'm gonna do whatever I want. High five. <laughs> and, nope, it's already on my skin. I'm seriously <laughs> Avoid eye contact, wear rubber gloves, we got that down, high five. Avoid creating dust, already done that. Let it sit for 12 to 24 hours. All right, good talk. So uh, these shirts turned out pretty good. I like them, but you know what this means, right? What? We've gotta go back to actually doing segments. Let's go work on them. So there's this one about FFA I was talking about. I told you we could. Good morning, Sunshine. Good morning, Michael. What is in that thing? Oh, you know, my computer, my iPod, my chargers for all of it. Wait, 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 wait. Do you even have room for, you know, books? I mean, we are in school. Oh, of course I do, but I'm taking full advantage of the new BYOD role. That's right. And you know what? We've actually got a show for you just on BYOD. And for you to take full advantage of this show, you're going to need to download a couple apps. For you Apple fans, get QR code reader. And for you Android aficionados, you're gonna need to get quick scan. Hey, class is starting. Oh, sorry. sorry. No, you might have brought your own device today, but we, we brought our own back-to-back -back announcements. Senior portraits must be taken by October 30th. If you're taking them in studio, please make your appointment now. See Miss Lavery for more details. FCA and Club 220 invites you out to the open gym. It's every Tuesday morning at 625, but proper clothing must be worn. No slides or boots are permitted. So come out for music, basketball, and prayer. Join Mr. Abdullah and Miss Mahmood Sci-Fi Fantasy Club that meets every Wednesday after school. Girls basketball trials are from October 21st to 23rd at 4.30 p.m. Please have all your consent forms turned to Coach Cobb or Lineberger, and you must attend all three days of tryouts. So Haley, have you heard about Mr. Jerry's video assignments? Yeah, I think they're a great idea because you pull out your device, you watch them, and you're done for the day. And I think it's that easy. I mean, like she said, you watch a quick video, and boom, you've got an A. Well, at first you have to learn the content, but you get the point. That's true. And you know what? I bet Mr. Jarrett and his students aren't the only ones utilizing this. Let's see who else is bringing their own device. All right, everyone. Now think back to the very beginning of the show. We ask you to download a couple apps, Quick Scan or QR Reader. Now, the reason for this is because Ignition TV has something brand new for all of you. Live polls. And Alberto's going to show us the technical side of how they're done. Hey Haley, did you catch the game yesterday? No, with my luck, I've been striking out here lately. Oh, don't worry, these devices can help you with your foul luck because Alicia uploaded the baseball game just this morning. Watch it on my phone. Cool, how about y'all watch it with me? You know Haley, I think we finally got the hang of BYOD. You've got your laptop and I've got mine, I think we're ready to go. I think so too, and in case y'all missed it, here's Alberto's poll again. English, chemistry, math, physics. When will we ever use this? Now, algebra may not seem practical at first, but let's say you and four of your friends want to go out to the beach on a Saturday. And you're all trying to split some gas money. 
but what's the fair amount? How much did you all pay? It's 200 miles from your location to the beach. And trust me, that's definitely not walking distance. But lucky for you, this bad boy gets 32 miles per gallon. This is when algebra comes into your life. You need to split gas money between five people, you're traveling 200 miles, and the cost of gas is $2.35. To find out how much gas you're gonna need, divide 32 into 200. That's gonna be six and one quarter gallons of gas. To find the cost of gas, you're gonna need to multiply 6.25 times the average cost of gas, 2.35. The cost is roughly $14.96. Now to split that between five people, you simply divide by five. That's roughly $2.94 per person. Chemistry is a class that most of us dread. I mean, if you're not gonna be a chemist, why even take chemistry, right? Now let's say you hurt your wrist. And you need to make an ice pack, but you don't want some solid brick of annoyance that's just gonna slap right on and slide right off. That's why we use a free-formed ice pack using chemistry. For this experiment, you're going to need rubbing alcohol, a measuring cup, plastic baggies, and running water. First, grab your rubbing alcohol and put one-fourth of it into a measuring cup. Then, add three-fourths part of water. Then, put the mixture in a Ziploc bag. Now put the bag into the freezer and let it sit for two hours. Chemistry and algebra are just two of many, many subjects that we use in our daily lives. So I'm Michael Boyette. And I'm Haley Offord. Signing off for Ignition TV.